Are you fed up with tarnished, greasy looking jewelry? Do you wear eyeglasses like myself? And no matter how much you clean and wipe them, they still have those greasy streaks all over the lens? Do you wear a retainer every night like myself and dread the cleaning of it in the morning? Well, maybe the ultrasonic cleaner could be the perfect solution for you. But before we begin on how to use this amazing machine, we need to really delve deep into what items are safe for the ultrasonic cleaner and what items are not. So make sure to stick around until the end of the video for some useful tips on cleaning diamond jewelry and some major items that always fall prey to ultrasonic cleaning at the very end of this video. So let's get started. So you may have a bunch of coins, jewelry, you know, just gadgets, items that are hard to clean. There are little nooks and crannies, a lot of crevices that really require the job of a ultrasonic cleaner. And the most important thing is ultrasonic cleaners are now so much more affordable and so much easier to obtain. And you can find a whole list of them on Amazon that range from very high quality cleaners to, you know, mediocre or some that don't even do the job. And all you really need is warm water, some cleaning solution, and the machine to do the cleaning job for you. But you may wonder, how does ultrasonic cleaning actually work? Well, ultrasonic cleaning involves the use of high frequency sound waves to create microscopic bubbles in a cleaning solution. So just imagine it's like all these microscopic scrubbers in bubble form, you know, scrubbing away on your uh, precious items. And these bubbles implode, generating tiny shock waves that remove contaminants on the surface. So this process is actually very effective in cleaning delicate surfaces and places that are hard to reach. But there's a huge caveat to this powerful cleaning method. Can you imagine all these micro vibrations going on inside the cleaning chamber? And if any of your items have any cracks or loosened parts or any blemishes on the structure of your jewelry piece, of your eyeglass lens, all these micro bubble implosions could actually exacerbate, worsen those cracks for you. So if you have diamond jewelry that have been uh, pr corrected with the use of resin or glue or um, any form of scratches on your jewelry, these items are probably best not to be cleaned in an ultrasonic cleaner. And I know it sucks that you have this cleaner and you really want to use it to really get into those little crevices, but then you're not sure about your jewelry or your items that may have some cracks and scratches, which can be quite normal from daily wear and tear. So my advice is to lower the strength, if you can, of your machine and also reduce the time used to clean your items. I feel that whenever you're in doubt, either don't clean it with ultrasonic cleaner or use the lowest setting possible and the shortest time duration just to really minimize any potential damage that can occur in your items. Or worse off, just manually clean your items with a soft toothbrush and, and a bit of dish detergent or hand soap and carefully scrub on the areas to really get into the little crevices as much as you can, rinse off and dry off. And actually to the eye, these items still look as good. And one extra tip is to recover that drain to prevent accidental loss, which has happened to so many people, including myself. So if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe and like button. I make useful videos like this every week and it would be great to have you on the team. Okay, so let's talk about those culprits that you'd really love to use your ultrasonic cleaner to clean them, but you cannot. And these include soft precious metals such as gold alloys with high carat values. As you know, pure gold, 24 carat is very soft uh, and is very malleable and easily deformed. So anything that's really soft, 18 carat to 24 carat gold, I would advise to perhaps not use ultrasonic cleaning just because there is potential risk for it to be deformed and damaged or even scratched. Certain gemstones such as opals that are very porous and can absorb liquids, making them sensitive to ultrasonic solutions and also pearls where ultrasonic cleaning can actually uh, damage the delicate surface of, of your pearls and weaken the adhesive that is used to fix the pearl in its jewelry setting. Other materials include rhodium that is often used with white gold. Rhodium is a type of enhancement to make white gold appear more white and can also be sensitive to ultrasonic cleaning. And, and that means it can wear off more quickly. So if you have white gold, say in 14 karat or 18 karat, you know, like myself, I'm wearing these earrings, 
um, it's most likely plated with rhodium. I would advise you to just avoid using the ultrasonic cleaner if you want your white gold to look white and sparkling. And there's also soft gemstones such as emeralds. The oil or resin used to enhance the appearance of emeralds may be affected by ultrasonic cleaning and potentially impacting the gem's clarity and shine and it may make it really cloudy over time. So that's something to keep in mind whenever you're in doubt, use the lowest setting or avoid ultrasonic cleaning altogether. And of course, costume jewelry, the fashionable jewelry that we love to wear to adorn our outfits. These are most likely pieces with glued components or very delicate materials that may not withstand the, the, the vibration of the ultrasonic cleaner. So just to be repetitive, sometimes it's okay to use a soft toothbrush and some soap and manually scrub it. That way you can assure yourself that you won't be doing unnecessary harm and damage to your items. Leave a comment for me below if you've ever tried to clean any of the items I mentioned above and what actually happened. In most cases, I think the effect could be very subtle and the damage may not be really that apparent in the beginning, but with continuous use, I believe the wear and tear could be much more noticeable. So let me know if you have any experiences to share. Okay, so for all those dazzling diamonds that we all love, the main caution with ultrasonic cleaning is with particular settings. In particular is the pave styles. You see the intense vibrations of the ultrasonic cleaner can potentially loosen the prongs or the small diamonds in the pave setting jewelry pieces. So to minimize any risk of loss, maybe your diamonds getting loose and falling off, check the settings and the prongs before cleaning to ensure that they will remain secure and also after cleaning just to make sure they won't fall off while you're wearing them. And if you find that any of the prongs seem to be loose or there's some movement in the diamonds, then refrain from using ultrasonic cleaner and immediately take it to your jeweler to get it repaired. And in general, I would advise to really limit the time that you spend using the ultrasonic cleaner because the longer you leave your jewelry items in the cleaner, the more vibrations it is going through and really does it really need that many vibrations to get that dirt out of the little crevices? Probably not. So I would advise maybe one to three minutes as a good benchmark. Uh, ideally, the shorter, the better. And remember to use warm water because warm water helps to loosen grime and dirt and grease a little bit better than cold water, but avoid using hot water, which can be equally damaging. And also do not use any abrasive cleaning solutions. I think, you know, just a normal dish detergent or hand soap can do the job as effectively. So one other pet peeve I have when cleaning jewelry is to separate the items. Please don't throw all your jewelry items in one go into the chamber because as they are vibrating, you can imagine the pieces will will be scratching against each other and cause a lot of micro abrasions. If you can, I like to separate them out one by one. If it's too time consuming, you can actually put them in little plastic baggies so that even if they're in contact with one another, there is that film of plastic that is preventing the items from scratching. So this ultrasonic cleaner I have here is given to me by Kunfi. It's a cleaner with a stainless steel tank with 600 milliliter capacity. It's the great size for cleaning eyeglasses or watches that you may have that are waterproof, uh, jewelry, coins, razors, or even your retainers or dentures can be put into this device. It's easy to use, just one touch operation. It has a flashing red light indicator to indicate that it is overheating, so you should avoid getting it to this level. I like this machine because it's very slim and compact. Um, it doesn't take too much real estate on your counter. I like how it's a bit quieter than other ultrasonic cleaners I've used in the past. And the long rectangular shape of it makes it easy to pour out excess water and makes cleaning quite easy. Once your jewelry items are clean, do remember to wipe them dry so that you avoid leaving any water stains or marks as the jewelry items are drying. If you can, you can use a soft cloth or even use a hair dryer to really dry out the surface. And make sure to always clean your ultrasonic cleaner every time after use because you don't want lime scale to develop in the chamber and so, or even soap scum. So just, you know, rinse it out and dry it off with a 
piece of paper tissue and you're good to go. So one thing I wish this ultrasonic cleaner had was an automatic timer because it's only a one touch button which makes it easy to use but then it doesn't allow me to keep track of the amount of time I've spent cleaning my jewelry pieces so you probably need to use your phone as a separate timer um, or just count in your head 60 seconds and and that's it but Ideally, um, if this could have an extra timer, that would be better. So if you're interested in trying out the Kunfi ultrasonic cleaner I have here, I'll leave the link in the description box below. I've also made a very comprehensive video in the past about ultrasonic cleaning with all the advantages and disadvantages and what to be aware of. So please check out that video when you have time for further information. So I hope you like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.